four, ten, same thing. Okay? So then now, this reduces to, this computation reduces to 1 minus 0 0.02 to the second power, right? What is 1 minus 0 0.02 to the second power approximated to the thousandth position? Where's your calculator? Is it? Okay, let's go to the nearest 10,000, sorry. It's going to be point what? Point 0.9996. This is the likelihood that you will what? Wake up. The probability you will wake up, go to work on time is point 0.9996. Point to the nearest 10,000, sorry. Is that close to one or close to zero? That's close to one. That means it's almost certain. Is it guaranteed? No. It's guaranteed. It's close to one. It's almost certain that you'll wake up on time. It's 0.996. It's close to one. Are you guys okay with this? Question, yeah. Yes, you notice that. This is not what? This is actually what? With replacement. Yes, it's with replacement. Good. How do you how do you know this is with replacement? It's not just that. Um, you see this concept called independent? They're independent? That's code for saying they're different, but that you know they're okay, let me let me do this to you. Right. Exactly. But in this problem here, if you're working with a system like we described, whether it's um, alarm clocks or um, computers, a lot of different things, when they function independently of, of one another in that way, that's, that's analogous to being with replacement. Okay? Because what you're doing is you have independent things. They're supposed to work independently of one another, meaning that if one fails, it has no effect on the other. Let me, let me write down the definition. Here's, you want to, let me be the formal definition. Definition of being independent. Okay? This is, this is two events. Two events, A and B, are independent if the following probability is true. Two events are dependent definition if the probability that A given B is not the same as the probability of A. Okay? Let's go through this, uh, this idea. It's an interesting, it's an interesting concept. Probability of A given B equals probability of A. This. Let's know. Two events. The event of being struck by lightning. And the event of wearing um, probability you're struck by lightning. And the event here, B, B, the event that you are wearing green shoes. So here's what I'm saying. The probability you're being struck by lightning, given that you are wearing green shoes, is that probability the same as being struck by, what is, what is represent, what's A again? Being struck by lightning. Here's what's happening. Does the likelihood change or does the fact that you're wearing green shoes either increase or decrease the likelihood of being struck by lightning? What do you think? How does that feel? What does that mean? You're wearing green shoes. Is that fact going to increase or decrease your chances of being struck by lightning? What do you think? No. Why not? There's nothing about the green shoes gonna, that's relevant. Is that true? 
So what we say in probability and statistics here is those two events, being struck by lightning and wearing green shoes, well, they are independent. Okay? Wearing green shoes has no effect of what? Being struck by lightning. How does that relate to this situation? The failure of the first alarm clock has nothing to do with whether or not the second will work or fail. See what I'm saying? You guys with that? That's why it's independent. And it has nothing, you know, look at the next situation. Here's an example of deep events. What's the probability you are struck by what? Lightning. Probably struck by lightning. Given that, this time you're wearing green shoes. This time you are flying a kite. The key. The key, uh, what? With the key stuck to it. In a what? A thunderstorm. It implies light, light. You don't have thunder without lightning or whatever. Okay? So the fact now, you're flying a kite, with the key attached to the end of it, I guess, in a thunderstorm, does that increase or decrease your chance of being struck by lightning? It changes. So the answer is yes. Those two events are called dependent. Here's the story. You see the situation where they're all what? You see this being different? These probabilities all, well, these, this is a deep, these events are dependent. Okay? Meaning that the fact that the first person will know when you select these people, right? If you go select a person at random, you say, oh, it's probably that first person in votes no. Well, guess what? After you keep selecting each different person, it has a different probability because you're throwing them out the window. That changes the likelihood of the next person being either no or yes. So the fact that you throw them out the window means that these probabilities are, these events here are all dependent. The past influences the future here in some sense. Here, there's no relationship. So if you select somebody and they vote no, throw them out the window, the likelihood of you selecting the next person and they vote no is different changes. Those two events are dependent. Here, they're independent, and that's, in some sense, an easier situation to deal with. Alarm clocks are independent of one another. Are okay, you guys okay with that? <laughs> that's, I know some people are looking for, oh, you hear the word different, now they're different alarm clocks. Well, I can understand that confusion, but there's actually a lot more to the story than that, and it's you asked. Okay. Okay, how about if we think of it this way? Um, can, you can use two events here like we just did. You can think of in some settings does, like for example, you have two children, right? Do you guys know once you have that first child, you go and you have the second child. Does the sex of the first child, or the sex of the second child, is the likelihood change that it's a boy or a girl given that either a boy or a girl for the first child? It starts all, in other words, having children is what? Independent of one another, the sex is independent. One outcome doesn't affect the likelihood of the next outcome. Okay? The past does not affect the future. And that's how this is set up here. Here the past does affect the future. This probability is going to change. Here it's not because the clocks are what? 